6th. Got a decent hunt this morning. Um, didn't really see the movement that we thought we would, like everybody else did. Uh, a little something we had to take care of during the old big book, big book, big book right there. Coming out. Just a three year old, 130 incher. We just had two does pop out here, and we just had this buck pop out here. So we had a picture of Ernie couple days ago right here in this fence gap and uh, I about killed him here two years ago and this is where it went for the encounters and about killed him last year in our late season so this is his home court area so hopefully we'll get him out here he was out here in daylight a couple days ago Beautiful three year old to come right here to the base of the tree, and then we had another two and a half. Had a little snort wheeze action. Had a cold front come in the last two days. It's like 31 degrees this morning. Deer are already moving. We have uh, we had a little buck come through, dog and a doe. We've seen a couple other deer off from the neighbors.
we've had a pretty eventful morning. I rattled earlier and about 25 minutes later we had a buck I'll come up on this grassy hillside and he come down and the two does that we've seen he started dogging them so I try to rattle out him get him come back and he come back and he brought his grandpa with him the biggest deer I've had in close we had him at like 55 but he wouldn't cross the fence I don't know, he's probably in the ones in the 70s, maybe close to 180, I don't know. Giant 10 pointer. We're gonna rattle, we're gonna rattle again here in a little bit. As soon as you quit shaking, then you can keep from breaking your finger. I'm, sh I'm, I'm shaking so bad, I think I could probably just hold the horns together and they'll probably sound all right. Well, it's about 2 o'clock, 2.15, I think. We're gonna slide back in here, get in this thicket, uh, clinch our camera around noon on one of our wagon blinds. We got a camera right on the side of the blind. And we've had this real, real tight, tall rack eight pointer. He's got a broken little end of his main beam, but he's uh, definitely something we're gonna go try to kill tonight. He's, probably, he's a four and a half year old deer that we've seen last, three, he was three last year, he's four this year, so. We got in the stand here. Just got everything set up. Had a little buck cruising in the bottom. Clint mowed a logging road down. There's no logging road down there. He mowed and them deer have really been using it going back and forth. But we only come to the stand like maybe once or twice a year. Usually on windy afternoon or a windy morning where we can get in here. We're pretty much setting on a bunch of saddle, like little fingers and saddles that go down through here. And uh of cedars and a little bit of brush on all of them so the doe just bed all up down through these draws and we got a food plot behind us where we're getting all the pictures of this deer a bunch of big rubs in here and good we good weather and good wind I mean, everything's here we just need the deer to show up so these are my magical horns i've rattled in a lot of deer with these horns i mean i've rattled in from 600 yards and i've rattled in two big ones this morning so I've had these horns for about six or seven years. They've always been lucky. Oh, dude. You had me tied in knots trying to film that. Thank you, man. Thank you, buddy. Oh. It's getting dark on us now, but well, 10 minutes ago, Clint's like, you better put the horns together one more time before dark. So I rattled. It's four and a half year old buck that we come in here after. Real tight, tall. Comes with the wind, right, blowing right up, right behind, right at us. I and mean, he blew, he walked right with the wind blowing right, right up. I don't know why. Comes right down here. We had a little tangle in the tree. Clint was trying to get around me, so. 
and he come right there and I stopped him about 10 yards and just center punched him right behind his shoulder. I just want to get down and go look at him because I know he just fell over right there. Go get this bad boy. He's just laying right over there. I gotta get down. Coyotes are going off. Gotta fight him for my deer. There's the arrow. Blue palm tree. What a deer. Oh, I gotta thank Clint for this one. This is his farm and behind his house and he does a lot of work. A lot of work. Learns all these deer, figure tries to figure them out. I try to argue with him, keep him on his toes. So you can't let him be right all the time. But he was definitely right tonight. I appreciate it. Here he is, it's uh, November 8th now. We shot him on November 7th. Um, we had a really eventful day. Uh, I had a great morning hunt. Um, seen the biggest deer probably of my life. Um, couldn't figure out where we wanted to go last night. Two different spots that we thought would be good and Clint checked the stealth cam and we had pictures of this deer two or three days in the, in the daylight. We slid into a little thicket, rattled him in right before dark. It's a great big four-year-old eight-pointer. Um, we have the, actually have the match set of sheds off of him from last year. Just a beautiful deer. Very lucky to be able to do what we love and video everything and it just turned out great. So we're gonna take maybe a couple days off. Work is calling, I guess. We gotta work all week and then one more weekend and then the Orange Army comes. So got uh, just a little bit of time. Hopefully we'll get another one down before shotgun season. Everything else turned out pretty good, so bow hunter die.